Hello again. Today we go over five steps to give your lawnmower a full service. You should consider making a service or let someone to do it every spring before you start moving the lawn. But let's get straight into and the first thing that we do is we give it a good cleanup. And for this, I bought some, some replacement parts, air filter, a brand new spark plug, a blade, and the oil. The first thing that we're going to do is change the blade. It depends on the situation if you wanna change the blade or if you can sharpen the blade. In my case, I can sharpen the blade. But anyway, you need to remove the blade to sharpen or change it. To do so, in my case, I need a 17 millimeter key and always you can lift the front part of the mower up, then the engine is going to be okay. You move it up and you unscrew the bolt here. Always remember that all the parts were there. So in my case there were bolt, mid plate and the plate itself. As you can see the plate looks quite old and even damaged I hope you can see and I give you a little comparison how the blade should look like so here we have the new blade this is the old blade the holes are the same this part is missing and the blade is very much worn out so this is the worn out part. So changing the blade is quite simple. You just need to take your new blade and there is also written grass side. You want to face the grass side towards the ground. Lift up the number again. All three things together and replace the blade. Finally, you need to tighten it with the switch. And so, the blade is changed. The next step is to change the spark plug, which is located here. Make sure to buy a new that's, that fits your mover. There are different uh, brands, but there's also some comparison they will do to check. Changing the spark plug is also quite a simple task. You just need to unplug the wiring, get the right key. In my case, it's 21 millimeter, specially made for spark plugs. And then just pop it in, and you open it. As you can see, the old one is quite oily and black, and you just put the right new one in. 
make sure the thread is going smoothly and give it the final touch with the key. So not over tighten it and put the plug back itself, back its place. And the spark plug is also replaced. Now the next step is to change the air filter. The air filter is relocated re here on top of the carburetor. To change the air filter we need to remove the air filter housing. To do so we use a big flathead screwdriver to unscrew the box here. The screw comes out quite long and you open the air filter cabinet. As you can see the old filter is quite quite dusty and we just need to replace it with a new one. Put new one in the box, put the housing back together and replace the air filter cabinet on top of the carburetor. The next thing to do is to change the oil. To change the oil is, it is recommended to heat up the engine so that the oil gets hot and it's coming out better. So let's start the engine and heat it up. So our engine is now heated up. We need to unscrew the train block. For this I'm using 3 8 of an inch wrench and I have an adapter that goes 3 8 of an inch to 1 quarter and 1 quarter to 3 8 of an inch back. So this is square shaped key let's say and this is a 10 millimeter side length. And this is just the right fit for the train plug. So let's pour out the old oil. I have a bucket and that's open. Also a good tip is to place your mover on top of two tables so you have a great access on the bottom of the mover. Train plug is here and we just simply need to unscrew the plug. And now we have let the old oil out, we put it back to the train block, we need to put in a new oil. We are using SAE30 oil, what is meant to be on small garden appliances. It says 4 stroke special oil. You can get this quite everywhere. We have to unscrew our oil plug which is also our oil indicator we need to clean it it says here um, there's always a marked area where the oil level needs to be across the area is the level you need to have and putting the new oil in is quite simple it just if you don't know the amount by heart, then you just need to practice, but usually it's around 0 0.6 liters. And we pour in the new oil. We check it. We put the... And it says almost side we need to add so let's put some more and we're right at the full line double check yeah very precise so this is this is how it should be put the lid on clean up any 
coil and this is it and this is how we do a full service on a small lawnmower in just the five steps i hope everything was clear to you if not then leave a question down below on the comment section i hope you liked the video if yes then hit the like and subscribe button see you in the next gardening episode